Hello guys, uh, it's been a long time since my first video. I was caught up in my exams and stuff like that, so I couldn't post even a single video after that. So I'm trying to catch up that. So this video is a continuation of the first video. In that video, I talked about uh, anatomy books, right? So in this video, I'm going to talk about. Uh, I'm going to uh, give you the books that I use for physiology and biochemistry. Okay, first uh, we'll see the syllabus of physiology. So for physiology, just like anatomy, we have theory and practical part. And theory will be in two papers, physiology part one and part two. But uh, the overall topics are only this, uh, general physiology, blood, muscle, uh, gastrointestinal system, endocrine system, reproductive system, excretory, respiratory, cardiovascular, central nervous system and special senses which is going to include your vision, hearing and taste. Uh, for practicals you are going to have uh, hematology that means RBC counting, WBC counting, differential leukocyte, eosinophil count and those things. In um, system wise clinical examination um, you will be taught how to examine a patient and according to the system like um, uh, respiratory system, cardiovascular system uh, and central nerve system. These three systems will be taught to you in the first year and you will have OSPI and DOSCI. Uh, this is all and VIVA uh, it will be of 20 marks I guess. If you score good marks uh, in VIVA it will be added to your theory mark which will uh, fetch you distinction honors if you do well in VIVA and theory as well and if you get the first mark in your university you'll get gold medal so yeah uh, it works like that so this is about uh, the physiology syllabus okay now let's move on to the books this is the book I used for physiology this is like most of the chapters I read from this book uh, this is by L. Prakasan Reddy. I don't know which uh, is the latest edition now. This was first. Yeah, so this is my favorite book. Uh, even few of my professors suggested this book. It has got uh, these diagrams and boxes. These things will be crisp. All the theory part will be crisp and also it's easy to understand. It's not like it's given in chart form or anything else. This is what they expect you to write in the exam. So you can just read this and it's not so dragging and anything uh, like that. So this is very good. So yeah, this is my favorite book I can say. As you can see, I have marked most of the pages which means I have learned from this book obviously so these books were given in our college so uh, in our college this is a book with in-depth information i can say so and it's also colorful and it's fun to read but if you read from this you would get uh, you would understand it from first time itself well, this is a college notes so if you like it let me know uh, you can comment below if you want them i would uh, make a drive link for you if you like uh, and you can mention the topics for which you want also so these are the notes which were pre uh, prepared uh, self-made by our professors and it was of so much helpful during the revision period so what i would suggest you people to do is after a lecture class is over you can just go to your room or your home, take some good rest and you would have taken some notes in the class so i would suggest you to notes and the book and just highlight all those points you took in the class so you have to highlight what are all the points that were told in the class you can highlight them next part uh, whatever they took that day you have to read that okay so you can read that and yeah the, just uh, uh, try to recall what uh, what's the concept of the topic that's over read your notes highlight the points in the book read your book once you would get an idea finish it off during uh, internals time you have to mark the questions which are five mark three mark or two mark and then ten mark and you have to segregate the question uh, in question wise and then you can uh, give it a skim and read it this is how i read personally okay. so these two books i got it out of interest I didn't use this books much but what I use this for is for these tabular columns okay so these kind of short uh, uh, schematic diagrams and uh, all these flow, flow charts I use this book I can say and uh, this is uh, AK Jain textbook of physiology mm, so guys a lot of your professors will tell you not to read from Sembulingam book 
I would tell you the same because uh, you not to use any shortcut methods to study physiology or any of your basic subjects because uh, if you do so, it's not going to benefit you in the long run. So I would suggest uh, you better to follow the method I told you or any of the methods that works for you except the shortcut one. I would suggest you to read uh, standard textbooks uh, using your own method uh, or what I have told you from my experience. So, so finally, for practicals, I used this book. Uh, this was suggested by my uh, professors as well. This was by A.K. Jain. And it has quite a lot of stuff going on here. For practicals, it's uh, if you read these viva questions and also what is given inside. So because uh, based on this only, they are going to ask you questions. The theory part of uh, your practicals is going to be from this. So I would suggest you to be strong in your theory or your basic physiology concepts and then go ahead with the experiment and then brush up your basics using these books practical books so i would suggest you to have one for this because uh, the viva questions are given because you you might study the concept but you never know how the question format will be you want to know at least how they can ask so i would suggest you to buy this uh, kind of books so this was by ak jain next uh, biochemistry we'll see the uh, syllabus first uh, the theory it's uh, it looks quite long but it's uh, not so long like your anatomy so the first thing is going to be cell enzymes oxidative stress um, and then chemistry and metabolism of carbohydrates lipids proteins vitamins and minerals uh, you can just screenshot this uh, <coughs> you can just screenshot this uh, page uh, this scene for your uh, future reference if you want to write it down uh, will be given in two parts as well by chem 1 and 2 and um, your uh, university will divide the portions accordingly you can just verify it with your professors practical part you'll have a major or minor charts and ospi and apart from that you'll have viva in major experiment you will be given a case scenario you'll be given the, and also you'll be given the urine of the patient you have to read the case scenario and make assumptions of the disease and you have to test the urine and for minor you'll be given the urine you have to find what is the abnormal constituent that is present in the urine that's it and uh, charts it's the same as i told you for physiology and ospi also you'll be given uh, uh you'll be asked to perform an experiment and they'll watch you step by step whether you do it correctly or not and the viva they'll ask you questions uh, from the theory and uh, for biochemistry i used this book this is by you satyanarayana this is my favorite book and uh, yeah so i found it uh, very uh, easy to learn, read from this book because uh, the language is very simple and also it is like uh, point wise so each paragraph you know what you are reading about um, whereas the next book I am going to show you it's not like that it's like monotonous continuous uh, thing and I didn't like that so I just bought this book and uh, this is what I used uh, for my biochemistry don't uh, learn at the last minute uh, just go then and there because it's a lesson I learned because few topics I did like that and few others I did not so I struggled uh, with those topics that I didn't prepare day, then and there so this is my piece of advice this is a book you'll be recommended mostly so this is by Vasudevan and uh, this is a book I told you few only few topics I learned from this book because I found it not so interesting kind of book but uh, if you liked it you can just very well go ahead because only few topics I learned from this book okay like hemoglobin metabolism and stuff that's it so this is the book by Vasudevan and uh, this is a book I use for practical biochemistry we were asked to uh, take this book with us every time we go to the lab uh, anyhow they'll make you to make notes in your observation so that you need not worry uh, about making your own stuff but this will be a guide in the beginning uh,
like uh, you will regret being so much stressed about figuring it out at the earliest don't try to figure it out it's a learning process you will learn how to read how what is working what time you can read and what's working for you what is not you will just it's a process don't make don't stress yourself to know everything in first in just one month or just one week you can just figure it out what the entire year is going to be you can't so don't try to and waste your energy just go with the flow read then and there and put give your best that's it Uh, be dedicated watch videos take notes and stuff like that don't try don't try to stress yourself that's very important in first year because stress b- brings out the worst in us this is my piece of advice again and yeah i know i am boring you but in help so this is all about first year mbbs books guys this series uh, this is the last video and the next video i'll make probably is going to be the second year books year students and any year students if you find any topic to be hard to be read by your own or if you don't find video for the topic in the youtube or any other social media you can just comment in my comment section i'll make sure i read them and i make a video out of it yeah. so when if one person is going to get benefit out of my video i'll be more than happy so comment what's your view you can criticize them or see you guys in the next video and take care eat well rest well study well have fun